The truth about lone wolf personality. Why some thrive alone? No one wants to be alone, they say. But do you know that there are people who would prefer to do things independently because they can concentrate better and, therefore, perform better? The lone wolf personality is probably one of the most misunderstood personality traits. Many people assume that a lone wolf is an antisocial person. Others even think that lone wolves cannot be trusted because they have strong negative traits, a belief that's obviously far from the truth. In reality, a person with a lone wolf personality just wants to be left alone to do their own thing, and they are far from dangerous at all. I'm sure you've seen them among your friends, classmates, co-workers, and family members. Who knows? You could be a lone wolf yourself. What is the lone wolf personality type? Individuals with a strong sense of independence, like lone wolves, tend to act like they don't need anyone else's help. Other people might view them as snobbish or superior to others. But being a lone wolf only means that they enjoy solitude more than others. In fact, this personality trait has been linked to being an introvert, but it doesn't necessarily mean they are shy. The concept behind the lone wolf personality was based on observing the behavior of wolves. In most cases, wolves, just like people, are social creatures. They tend to stick with their respective packs, rarely leaving the group. However, some wolves decide to go off on their own and live life on their terms. This is where the term, lone wolf, comes from. The idea is that these animals are independent and self-sufficient, they don't rely on others for their needs, and therefore, they can survive without a group. Lone wolves tend to be reserved, quiet, and focused so they can concentrate on getting things done. What causes the lone wolf personality? Not everyone is like the rest of the pack. Some lean more towards being a lone wolf than being part of a group. The lone wolves are the ones who prefer to do their own thing and go their own way, perhaps seeking more independence and freedom in both their personal and professional lives. I want to point out some of the things that may cause or may have caused this kind of personality among creative people. 1. Introverted personality. Introverts tend to avoid crowds and seek solitude. They often find it hard to interact with other people. Because of introversion, some people become lone wolves or confident individualists. But unlike most introverts, lone wolves aren't generally shy. They are often confident workers and are not afraid to speak up when the need arises. They like to spend most of their time alone simply because they find social interaction and time with people draining and unproductive. 2. Insecurity. Many people may find a lone wolf assertive and confident on the surface. But behind that alluring confidence, there could still be insecurity, fear of rejection, and even lack of confidence. As a result, a lone wolf often tries to hide their true feelings and opinions by avoiding social interaction. It's important to note that this isn't always the case. Many successful lone wolves are very secure and can be comfortable around others. 3. Pursuit of creative endeavors. Let's face it. Creativity can sometimes be elusive, and that's one of the main reasons why lone wolves seek it out. Lone wolves know that getting started or even maintaining a creative project can be challenging. So, they make sure that they control the process and set boundaries by working alone. 4. Distractions. These days, we're constantly bombarded with tons of information. From those giant billboards and repetitive TV ads to our gadgets, like our phones and laptops. But that's not all. We're constantly distracted by other people. And if we're not careful, these distractions could quickly eat up our time. Lone wolves are very much aware of all these. Distractions are not just annoying. They can be detrimental to focus and productivity. That's why lone wolves prefer to work independently. They value their time so much that they spend most of their time alone. 5. Love for personal privacy. A lone wolf is a private person. He tends to live a solitary life because he loves the privacy of his thoughts and actions. But don't get me wrong. Love for personal privacy doesn't mean that lone wolves can't be social. They can be, but not at the expense of privacy or productivity. Is it okay to be a lone wolf? Three disadvantages of having a lone wolf personality. 
Now that you're familiar with the causes of lone wolf personality, let's go ahead and discuss some of the disadvantages of having this personality. 1. Poor social skills. When you're left alone for too long, chances are, you won't have much social interaction. If you're not used to having a lot of social interaction, it will be a struggle to build the social skills you need. Because of this, many lone wolves are socially awkward despite having a genuine interest in being around people. 2. Limited and outdated perspective on things. When you're living in a bubble, you tend to close your world off to the rest of the world. You may be limited in your perspective on things, and you may not be able to understand the needs of others. In their desire to be left alone, lone wolves often choose to ignore information they deem as noise, which may result in the development of a narrow and outdated perspective on things that fall outside of their personal space. 3. Loneliness. There's a reason why humans are called social creatures. At some point in our lives, we depend on our social connections for many things. We need other people to talk to, people to help us when we're in trouble, and people to help us when we're feeling down. When you're a lone wolf, it's not always easy to get the social interaction you need. That's why being alone, especially for too long, can get a little lonely, too. Advantages of having a lone wolf personality. Being a lone wolf is not bad at all. If you are one, you have a few advantages. 1. Being comfortable with being alone. Not everyone enjoys being alone, but if you're a lone wolf, you have the luxury of being comfortable with it. After all, spending quality alone time has some perks, and as a lone wolf, you can take advantage of them. Besides, it is a great way to decompress, recharge, and enjoy the quiet. 3. Excellent interpersonal skills. Lone wolves are great at dealing with their own emotions, and it is not hard to see why. When you're alone, you can think, reflect, and get to know yourself better. You can also develop your ability to be self-aware and even build your self-management skills. 3. Being laser focused on the task at hand. When you are alone, you have the opportunity to focus. You can dedicate yourself to a task without being distracted by other things. You can also get the best out of yourself if you are the type of person who is motivated by deadlines. 8 Good Characteristics of Lone Wolves Lone wolves have several good characteristics that might not be so obvious at first glance. Let me share them with you. 1. Good listeners. As an individualistic person, you usually listen attentively to people while they are talking. You make sure you get as much information as possible to analyze the shared ideas thoroughly. It is unlikely that your attention would be half occupied with something else. When you listen, it's total immersion. Two ears and 100% attention on what the other party is saying. 2. Self-sufficient. Validation from others is unnecessary for you because you trust your own abilities and know what you are capable of. This self-reliance makes you a strong and independent person. You have high self-esteem and believe that you should be the first person to appreciate yourself. Your lone wolf personality allows you to understand yourself better than anyone else. 3. Focused. You know how to get things done and do them well because you're 100% focused on your task. Above all, you take pride in your work. 4. Appreciative. As a person with a lone wolf personality, there is no need for grand gestures to please you. You often find genuine joy and appreciation in even the tiniest effort shown towards you. 5. Observant. You are incredibly perceptive. You are a keen observer, often taking a closer look into the minute details of things. You usually use it to improve your craft and hone your skills. 6. Trustworthy. You are trustworthy with secrets, and you know how to keep them. You will not spread rumors about other people's business, and you could even be considered a safe keeper for the people around you. You don't tell others stories but instead, help people understand that they can trust you with theirs. 7. Emotionally aware. You know your emotions. You know when you are happy, sad, disappointed, and all the feelings in between. You know when it is time to keep such emotions to yourself, and you also know when to vent out with trusted friends. As a result, 
you can manage your emotional health better than everyone else. 8. Loaded with wisdom. Since you don't talk a lot, people pay special attention to you whenever you do. You are keenly observant and in tune with people's emotions. Because of these qualities, you only speak up when you have something important to say, so your comments count. People listen attentively whenever you speak because they know that what you have to say contributes valuable input and is worth sticking around for. Frequently asked questions about lone wolf personality traits. What is the difference between a lone wolf personality and an introvert? While both personalities share the same preference for spending time alone, there is a difference between introverts and lone wolves. A lone wolf personality may be an introverted personality, but not all introverts are lone wolves. For one, lone wolves enjoy the freedom of solitude, whereas introverts don't always like being alone. Is it okay to be a lone wolf? There's nothing wrong with being a lone wolf. In fact, having that personality could actually be advantageous to you and your productivity. Just try to keep your work-life balance, and try to seek out company every once in a while so you can get some perspective and new outlooks that can fuel your productivity and creativity further. In other words, there's no need to change anything about yourself, but you could always make a few adjustments here and there to help you become a better version of yourself. Is being a lone wolf a bad thing? So, is it bad being a lone wolf? The answer is no. It is just a matter of personal preference. A person with a lone wolf personality is not a bad or a snob person. Rather, they just find peace, solace, and wisdom in silence. If you think that you have a lone wolf personality, you should know that there is nothing wrong with it. It simply means that you have a unique set of preferences that others may not choose to follow. Remember, for as long as you are doing your best and not harming anyone around you, you are normal, just like everybody else. As a lone wolf, you feel comfortable working alone and being independent. Being a lone wolf is not a bad thing, but it does require you to learn how to balance this type of personality with your personal preferences, needs, and goals. If, at this point, you are still unsure of what the lone wolf personality means, feel free to comment below, and I will try to answer your question the best I can. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to share it with your colleagues, friends, and family. I hope to see you at the next one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're rolling out tons of content about productivity, self-improvement, and motivation in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.